we are fitting a backhoe subframe. It was meant for an L3301 onto our L3400. So, you can see, so down there, you can see the subframe. There's one for each side. Bolts up nicely right here in the back. Three bolts on each side to the ROPS. Got good clearance to the ROPS. Both sides. Unfortunately, the subframe is about half a hole too short. And here's the ROPS. So you see we've had we've uh, taken a milling machine and made some adjustments here. Actually, this is going to get flipped around, so uh, this side bolts to the tractor. But you can see we've milled these holes back about uh, half a hole. Uh, at a little bit of an angle. I don't think that's necessary. That just happens to be where mine lined up. Uh, part of that has to do with, see that bow, that U-shape here? Since it's short, it doesn't quite clear this tube here, down here, so. It doesn't quite line up right. So we've had to make some adjustments. And here's the other side. A little better milling job or alignment issue. You see again, we've just shifted these holes over about half a hole's width. Uh, you can see it just shifted backwards. The left side also has the hydraulic mount. So, the, hyd the hydraulic controls. So I also had to remove those. All right, well, I'm gonna get this mounted up uh, and do a little bit of preventative painting. Oh, one last thing. There's a bracket on each side that mounts to the subframe and then mounts to the bottom of the transmission. And that goes right back here. So this goes right here. And it's a little different. So, since the spacing is just a little different, we've had to mill that hole a little bit. And since it's not quite as tall, We've had to mill, or actually not get a little shorter and a little off to the side. So the alignment is not quite the same for these pieces either. All right, we have got it on. So there's the front end loader attachment point mounted. There's the Back of the subframe attached. I put these bolts in from the other side, mainly because of this one right here. It's just about impossible to get at the back side there. And so I decided to put those through this way. And then let's see. Down here, you can see these guys in here. There's those mounts right there. Oh. And there's the inside of what that looks like. Same thing all the way around. Rear bolts. So like I say in the back end, we got three here. The two bolts on the frame there that go up there on the axle. Same with the other side. Those all, these ones lined up fine. That bracket needed adjustment. Same thing on the other side. All good. These bolts are a little bit of a pain because they're actually, they get water behind them. And so the tips rust. So expect some trouble with those if your tractor's very old or been out in the weather. And that's it. That's the subframe attached. 
there we have it. It's pretty much as shipped except for those brackets being attached. And as you can see, they're not fully attached. Tomorrow, we will uh, go to Tractor Supply, get ourselves some hydraulic fluid, and I had a grease zert that was crushed in shipping, so I have to get a grease zert. And hopefully, we'll have that running tomorrow.